welcome back to Jaw Jaw Draws. Uh, so this particular video was inspired by Rin from Drawing with Waffles. Um, I was watching her design a princess, which I really enjoy. <laughs> I really enjoy what she does when she does those sorts of videos. Um, but she was drawing a princess uh, who she was like, well, this princess goes into the cave and sings to herself. And, and I thought that was a really cool idea. But she was drawing this princess with a skirt. And um, and to be clear, this is not to dis Ren in any way. But I I just suddenly had this idea like, why why don't we draw princesses in pants? If they're going to engage in an activity that would really be better in pants, why don't we draw them in pants? Like, why do we never give princesses practical clothes? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to draw myself a practical princess who's a spelunker because Rin's princess was a spelunker. But I'm, I'm going to draw myself a spelunker who has pants because Lord knows the women of this world deserve pants so that they're not just, you know, walking around trying to crawl through caverns and skirts because that just doesn't doesn't seem like a thing we need to do to them so this is my spelunker um uh, one of the things i'm trying to learn to do is add add details to my outfits which is a slow process i watch um other artists and i realize that all of them seem to just sort of instinctively realize, oh, yeah, this will be better if I put, like, more detail on. And for me, I am always so straightforward and so simple, and I want more detail in the work that I do. So uh, I drew this on my Hawaii um, drawing tablet, and the um, program that I have on there is just Autodesk Sketch. It is by no means um, anything like I, what I think... Uh, I don't even remember what, what the big popular drawing program is, but it doesn't have um, a lot of features. Like, um, I have yet to be able to figure out how you can do a masking layer. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's not a thing for me, but it, it serves my purposes. Um, and it does let me do layers, uh, even though I can't, like, clip the, the layers to the ones below. Um so uh, I started with my sketch layer. Um, I did forget, I'm unused to recording myself when I work, so there were a couple times, uh, like I did the initial sketch without recording it, um, which is why you got the second sketch layer. Um, and now we're getting the, the line art as I'm working on it. Um, and then coming forward, there are a couple places where, um, you know, I just like colored the pants and was like, oh, I should have definitely recorded that. Um, so while I was working on my princess, I realized that I feel like, you know, she needs a song. All Disney princesses are, are the protagonists of their movies. And, you know, that means they have an I want song or like something that defines who they are, what they're, what the secret of their character is. So like I wrote a little Disney princess song for her. It's called Under the Ground. Uh, and, oh God, I'm going to sing it for you. Yeah, anyway, anyway, so our, our princess, our beautiful princess, she's like climbing down through the caves and the music swells and she starts singing quietly to everyone. So like in my version of this princess Spelunker, she is definitely crawling down into the earth and seeing like old cave paintings and she's in search of something and I don't know what, because I didn't finish writing the movie. I, I just wrote, like, a version, of course, of the song. But I'm just saying, like, it's, it's a good basis. It could definitely work. Uh, so when I was coloring her, um, I used various shades of brown and purple. I didn't want to get too far away from your normal princess color theme, which is, like, you know, tends to be those pastel pretty colors um, which is why I chose purple just because it's my favorite and it, it seemed like it would go. But like also, if you're going to be crawling around under the ground, you do really need to have some sort of protective gear on and it, it probably should repel dirt pretty well. So I didn't want to go with anything too like light or frilly or whatever. So a bunch of shades of purple. Um, 
brown with a lot of purple in it, gray with a lot of purple in it, uh, some straight up really desaturated purples. Um, I don't know. I uh, Looking at this now, I feel like the one that I really regret is the gray that I picked out that has a greenish tint to it. Like, I guess it, it, it goes better once her flesh tone gets in there. Um, but the hat and the boots are both sort of, uh, and the belt too, I guess, are both sort of grayer than I, I had intended for them to be. Um, the way I do my coloring for on my drawing tablet is that I create um, layers for the different base colors that I lay down. Um, and I'll, I'll do like a single layer that has multiple different base colors as long as they're not overlapping. Um, because like I, it'd be really important that the hat and the face not be on the same base layer, but you know, it's fine for the face and the shoes to be on the same base layer or something like that. And then once the base layer is laid down, um, and I'm happy with it, I lock the pixels on it. Um, and then I go back in with my shading so that I can use the airbrush for shading without, you know, ending up spray painting the entire background. Um, I did choose to make her green eyed and originally I was going to make her a uh, sort of a sandy blonde cause I thought that would be nice, but something about it just really irritated me when I put in the background, it felt like the blonde was just too, too blonde. So I made her like a super dark brunette. Um, and adjusted it. Uh, I created like a really vague background for her. The idea that she's like in a cave and there's some shadows and vague suggestions of rocks and stuff behind her. But mostly she's just a character in a foreground. I think one of the things that I love the most about drawing in a um, digital program is that you can just go in and sort of rough out a background so that it's not on plain white paper, but it's not, you know, anything super intense. Um, the minute adjustments that are happening now on the screen are shading and highlights and things like that. Um, nothing particularly exciting. It just makes the character look more rounded. Um, shading has been something that I've really been struggling with uh, to make it sort of more accurate to the human form unless just like here let me draw a line where there should be a shade so I was actually really pleased with how her bodice turned out in this um I felt like it, it kind of looked sort of rounded anyway I was pleased with that I'm did I forget to shade her neck please tell me I didn't forget to shade her neck oh there we go oh I shaded her neck uh thank you for doing that for me past me I was gonna be really upset if I'd forgotten that um I've also been working on understanding the structure of the face, uh, where it catches the light, where it's more likely to be in shadow, or where you're likely to get a hue shift. So, like, sometimes you can get away with um, using shadow even if it's catching the light, uh, because you'd, you'd have a hue shift there, um, where you need something so that it doesn't look flat. Oh, I went in with some black for the eyes for a minute, and... Um, and that was a big mistake. I felt terrible about it. But then I forgot to record it when I fixed it. So as you can see in the final drawing, here we have the final drawing. Um, I'm actually really pleased with how she turned out. I, I enjoy drawing her. I like my little spelunker princess. Searching and seeking for unknown mysteries. Older and deeper, past long forgotten histories. Under the ground, who knows what can be found when you're down there? Secrets in the dark, you hold inside your heart, they'll be safe there. Under, I don't know how this ends. Maybe she like falls in a hole. And then she's like, ah!